The following is a presentation of William Patterson University Television, WPTV. Hello, hello. How's everyone doing? Thank you guys for coming to William Patterson. This is Common Hour Comedy Hour. It's one of our shows here on WPTV. We're going to have a lot of fun tonight, and I hope you guys have some too. So let's get into it. So I always like to start my day in a good mood, but day in and day out, there's one thing that prevents me from reaching my destination cheery, and that one thing is road work. Yes. F*** road work, all right? <laughs> road work is omnipresent, okay? But I typically notice that road work starts right around the same time that classes start. It's almost as if all the road crews gather around and say, mm, well, we never finished our education, so we're going to make sure these kids don't finish theirs. <laughs> it's unbelievable, OK? Look, I understand road work. I understand that it's a nece uh, necessity. And I can almost forgive it when there's actual road work being done. However, what really drives my anger into overdrive, and yes, that was a car joke, is when I'm driving down Route 208 at 10 o'clock at night and I see four miles of cones in the right lane and when I drive up and I see the guys w working, I see a guy cheeks deep in a turkey club leaning up against a pickup truck with nothing but more cones in the back. <laughs> but then that makes me think, man, wouldn't it be great if I had four miles of clearance around me whenever I ate? Because here's the thing. I don't eat a lot, but what I do eat is pretty gross, and the way I eat it is even grosser. Like, I prefer on-the-bone wings, because I really like to fight for my meat. <laughs> and if you know a thing or two about on-the-bone wings, they make a mess. So it would be nice to have that kind of clearance whenever I want to treat myself. But yeah, I've seen some weird <laughs> in the coned-off sections of a roadwork area. Like, just the other day, I saw a satanic ritual happening. <laughs> satanic ritual, frat initiation, whatever you want to call it. But I saw eight older gentlemen, in a circle, all dressed in their reflective yellow please don't run me over jackets, surrounding a younger man while he's digging a hole. And while this man is digging a hole, these older gentlemen are taking the dirt that he is shoveling out of the hole and putting it back into the hole. <laughs> Much to the distress of me and the other 800,000 drivers on the road. It's unbelievable. I one time saw a jackhammer fight. I'm not kidding. <laughs> like there was a guy and he's like, oh, oh. <laughs> And he starts chasing his coworker, right? And then the other guy's like, ah, stop it, I'm trying to work. And he fights back. And they're going back and forth. Because, you know, this is the sound of jackhammer makes. But, and it's, it's maddening to me because I, I fight through all this traffic and I take all the detours and I end up in East Bumble, whatever, wherever, only to end up at school working a job that I hate, okay? I work at a technical services help desk here at the comm department, right? And I hand out film equipment to aspiring filmmakers. We like to call this Pretension City because these guys think that they are going to make the end all be all student films. For example, my first week on the job, I'm introduced to this, uh, this guy named Andrew, right? He comes up and he's all, hey. <laughs> and I'm like, hello, sir, how can I help you? He's like, um, you know, I'm working on this film. It's a pretty big deal. You know, me and my friends are shooting it. We're going to enter in some festivals. And I'm like, great. How good is it going to be when you're renting out a camera that you can buy at Walmart? <laughs> right? So he proceeds to then tell me the plot of his film. And I would remember more of it, but I was too busy bashing my head against the de desk to pay attention. <laughs> but from what I got out of it was is it was a, a mix of Die Hard and Frozen. Now, that seems strange, but I can see the trailer now. This winter, Elsa really does die. Hard. <laughs> so I oftentimes find myself thinking about Andrew, and I often think about you know, where he is now, if he ever made his movie, what he's doing with his life. So one time when I was thinking about him, I was driving home, and all of a sudden, here come the cones. So I start to get angry. And after about four miles of seeing nothing, I see a white pickup truck with nothing but more cones in the back. And then I see... Andrew, <laughs> leaning up against the truck, cheeks deep in a turkey club, <laughs> jackhammering the ground. So thank you guys. You guys were great.